Kate accompanied Princess and on their first royal engagement together to visit maternity healthcare facilities, and she appeared composed and elegant. As she arrives for the engagement, Kate is beaming. Kate chose a small pair of pearl earrings and a 125 pound pearl necklace from Monica Venader, which added to her beautiful outfit. Mother of three having a usual stylish appearance, princess, and wore a teal coat and coordinating scarf, while Kate wore a sophisticated 400 pound self portrait oatmeal dress that was nipped at the waist with a small belt and featured beautiful floral motifs. The Duchess and Princess have previously shared the spotlight at family events, but this is the first time they've paired up for an outing that only the two of them will be attending. The Queen Mother previously served in both of these responsibilities. The Princess Royal has been the patron of the RCM for 20 years, and the Duchess assumed both in 2018. RCM CEO Gil Walton and RCOG President Dr. Edward Morris greeted the Princess and Duchess when they arrived. The couple learned about the collaborative efforts being made by the RCM and the RCOG to advance maternal health care, ensuring that women are given the safest and finest care attainable during one of the most crucial phases of their lives. The headquarters, which house a number of organizations dedicated to women's health care, was created by the RCOG to promote sector-wide cooperation. The Royals had a meeting with officials of Tommy's National Center for Maternity Improvement and learned about the cutting-edge digital technologies being created to recognize and assist women with higher-risk pregnancies. The Duchess and the Princess observed Dr. Katie Cornthwaite, an obstetrics and gynecology registrar, give a demonstration of new training for health workers confronted with performing a caesarean delivery on a baby whose head is stuck in the pelvis, a situation that is causing the NHS to face an increasing number of legal issues. The Queen's daughter was conversing with maternity specialists as she watched a demonstration of a brand new intrapartum fetal surveillance tool, which tracks the well-being of infants throughout labor and alerts medical personnel to begin a delivery if the infant's head becomes lodged in the mother's pelvis. And questioned, wedged, to laughs. The princess then revealed to the gathering that she had worried experiencing it during one of her pregnancies, adding, I thought, that's a bit unusual, ended up the right way up though. The princess is the mother of Peter Phillips, 44, and Zara Tyndall, 40. She claimed to have gone over in a horse trailer while very pregnant, and that is what she believed had happened, according to Professor Tim Drakett, Vice President of RCOG and Professor of Obstetrics who was assisting to demonstrate the instrument.